a lot of times we're doing big batteries, big inverters, big solar, and you know, it costs thousands and thousands of dollars, most of the time over $10,000 once you get it all in. And not everybody needs that. So let's talk about a small system today. So this may be a familiar scene to many of you. You start out with a little battery like this from uh, the RV dealer. Nothing special, just a marine deep cycle battery. Well, you switch out the box for one of these, a uh, double battery box and put one of these slim uh, case batteries in it. This is a lithium battery with a built-in JBD BMS so we can monitor this from our phone. You don't need an external shunt, nothing. You drop the battery in, it goes. Works great. Then over here in the compartment, the storage compartment, we upgraded to a uh, Victron MPPT solar charger from the stock Furion charger, which is a 25 amp, that's a 50 amp. And the reason why we did that was we added a whole bunch more solar. Uh, also added a uh, solar disconnect, which was not there before. And we just wired this directly into the uh, positive into the disconnect, so that still works. And then uh, hit the negative on the frame rail there. I'm gonna secure that up yet still. And that's making great power. Let's go take a look up, up on top. So up on top here, we've got uh, the stock 165 watt Furion panel and 200 watt uh, rich solar, another 200 watt rich solar. And to make it all work, we paired that with a 100 watt um, Spartan solar panel. And I feel like this works really good together. We're finding we're sistering a little 100 watt panel with these pretty often and it's working out good. Again, the reason why we're doing that is to get the voltage of these two panels up to the same voltage that these are working at. And then we ran all uh, three groups in parallel. So that's a group, that's a group, that's a group. Woo, it's getting windy. But we ended up with 665 watts of solar up here using the same battery. It's not bad. So the question is, why do you only need a smaller solar system like this? Uh, well, it's because if you're not planning on having a big inverter to run all your 12 volt outlets and you have one of these new Dometic fridges that uses 12 volt or some of them are the 120 power, uh, but that's mainly your goal is you want to run that fridge. So you need a battery that's capable of running it through the night, a night or two, and enough solar to charge that back up. And I recommend more solar. You're never going to go wrong with having more solar. So, um... I think that's gonna work great for these uh, customer and might work good for you too. So there you have it. We did all that in uh, one day's time. So that just means one day labor, which uh, is quite an upgrade for uh, a little camper like this. Um, you know, going from that where you got probably, I don't know, 50 to 30 amp hours of usable power in that, up to 200 amp hours of usable power and you can all you can see what's going on from your phone now you're not blind to it i think uh i think overall this is a darn good value and uh so if you're interested in not just big solar but small solar affordable solar solar that makes sense for you and your family and your needs give us a call email text uh by whatever means you find appropriate to contact us Get in contact with us and we'd love to help you. We'll even sell you the stuff and show you how to do it, help you out. All right, take care.